Hey, do you struggle with stiff or immobile shoulders? Well, today I'm going to show you one exercise that I've seen all of my clients from office workers to elite level lifters benefit from. Hi, I'm Vincent from Upright Health, where we help you think right, move right, and feel right. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out the description box below for helpful links to our do-it-yourself programs. So the exercise in question is the pull apart. I'm going to show you how I coach the pull apart. I'm going to think about four key points as I hold on to the band like so with an overhand grip. Key point number one, keep the wrists and the elbows straight the entire time. Key point number two, make a T with your body. Notice how my arms and my torso, they're making a T. And key point number three, keep your elbow pits facing forward the entire time. Finally, key point number four, feel the target muscles working. Common mistakes. Number one, rib flare. You see how my ribs are sticking out through my shirt as I pull the band apart? That's what we don't want. So what you can do if you're having this issue is you can tuck your ribs with a strong exhale prior to starting your reps. And then you can keep your ribs there the entire time. Mistake number two, letting your head jut forward. Notice how as I'm pulling the band apart, my head is coming forward like I'm a pigeon. That's what we don't want. So if you're having this issue, what you can try is performing the band pull apart with your upper back and the back of your head pressed up against the wall. Mistake number three, letting your shoulders roll forward. Notice how as I'm pulling the band apart, my shoulders are rolling forward. That's what we don't want. So, if you're having this issue, what you can cue yourself to do is think about pointing your armpits down towards the floor the entire time. Mistake number four, letting your elbows drop. Notice how as I'm pulling the band apart, my elbows are dropping at the last moment. This is what we don't want to see. So, if you're having this issue, one thing you can try is cueing yourself to go from low to high. And in doing so, you might automatically fight off the temptation to let your elbows drop. Mistake number five, going too fast or picking a grip that's too narrow or using a resistance band that's just too heavy. So if you're making any of these mistakes, then slow it down. Start off with the lightest resistance band that you can. Choose a wider grip, do what you need to do to avoid the common mistakes and get the key points of this exercise down. And if you want to explore more ways to derive benefit from the pull apart, then try these variations. Variation number one, the bent arm pull apart. In this version, I'm bending my elbows to about 90 degrees and I'm still focusing on all of the other key points. I'm trying to feel the target muscles. I'm trying to make a T with my body. I am keeping my elbow pits facing forward and I'm keeping my wrist straight the entire time. I like to use this version sometimes when I'm having trouble keeping my elbow pits facing forward because if my elbow pits face up in this version, well, it's very apparent. Additionally, keeping my elbows bent like this can help me isolate the target muscles more. Variation number two, using different angles. I can perform the pull apart this way while still keeping in mind the original key points. I'm still focusing on feeling target muscles. I'm still making a T with my body. I'm still keeping my wrists and elbows straight. And I'm still keeping my elbow pits facing the band 
at all times. One reason I would explore different angles over time is simply to strengthen my shoulders at more angles. So now let's go into the why of this exercise. Let's establish that your arm is connected to your torso via your shoulder blade. This means that whenever you are trying to use your arms to maneuver things in the world, your arm needs to be securely attached to your shoulder blade and your shoulder blade needs to be securely attached to your torso. And when I say securely attached to your body, I mean that the muscles linking those segments to each other, they should be strong and coordinated enough to keep those segments moving freely. Because you see, with your arm on one end of your shoulder blade, if you're holding on to something with that arm, then there's going to be a force trying to drag your shoulder blade in that direction. Which means that there needs to be a muscle working on the other side of that, countering that force. And in this example, one of those muscles is the mid-trap. This exercise, done properly, trains your mid-traps to pull the inner edges of your shoulder blades flush to your rib cage so that your arms, your shoulder blades, and your torso can continue to move freely regardless of the activity that you are performing. And that's the video. If you like the video and would like to browse more content on how to improve your shoulder health, be sure to check out the description box below. And if you like the video, please like the video, subscribe, share it with anyone you know who may also find it helpful. And as always, remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't. keeping my elbow pits facing forward, I'm still 